under 2000 10 minute blitz arena let's capture This is pretty standard. The queen obviously wants to come down, start targeting this pawn. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attack with the discovered bishop, attacking his knight at the same time. But the queen has gone right back. <coughs> Normally, they go here, you know, tag targeting the pawn. So, maybe that's uh, an error. It's now targeting our pawn here facing our king let's just take this knight first just bring this knight through here attacking this pawn but also discover check on his bishop with a check on his king knight takes the moving ball for those pieces so we capture we still got this threat of this pawn but now he's brought his uh, pawn down so his queen is protecting that pawn could attack the knight. Do we want the knight going anywhere special? Attack the queen, but the queen will take. Just attack the knight for now. Still got that, but uh, it takes his queen off of that line, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Knight takes, queen takes, bishop here, maybe, or queen here. Mm -hmm. Let's go for simple. Attack his knight. Yeah, he's going for the annoying thing, you know, not not going for the trade, going for the bishop. Um, so we don't have to exchange. We can just go here. He's uh, looking to attack our queen, coming this side here. So let's bring that through. Knight still has this spot here, but his knight is protecting that at the moment. Could bring our queen here just to help with that sort of situation. Let's go with that. A small little knight move. Oh, he's uh, seeing everything. Hmm. Yeah, very clever. So I'm going to attack his knight again from this side. So yeah, I think he's wanting the, the bishop more than anything else. So he's now just attacking a higher piece. We could go here and attack his queen, open up our rook. Or oh, his bishop is just going to come down and attack us. So we've trapped our... Oh, no, we haven't. <laughs> no, the queen could have gone up there. So now we've opened up space for our rook. Nice double pawns in front of our king. Good protection. doesn't want to exchange the knight he wants the bishop so I don't think he's going to capture the knight so what's what we're we looking at bringing our rook across here to the center attacking this unprotected pawn while he's making his way towards our kingside area I don't think I'm going to lose any sleep over that we've got the double pawn situation in front of the king should be okay so he protects so we can now I'm thinking man I think we can take here because the rook can't come down that center line now and this seems to freeze a bit of space for us actually just bringing the bishop here now blocking towards the king area like i say i'm not going to lose any sleep over this situation here um i feel fairly comfortable with that it's got a dark squared bishop he's wanting to come through we could just put this here like this nice and steady so this is going to be slow development now towards, you know, this is like heading towards the end game. Yeah, so his king's moving down now, so he doesn't have a right lot to do. Um, I'm just conscious that I've got a dark square bishop too, and now I'm going to be blocking the activity. So I'm going to attack his rook, because he's feeling comfortable with his rook being just sat there. Could keep that bishop just there now, and just hold it in the centre. He's got a dark square bishop as well, so he can challenge that quite easily. 
and looking at the poor majority side of things, our A, B, C, D, A is challenging it. We could capture his king captures, or we can just leave it there and let him capture. Then our pawn is in the center. We only have one pawn in the center. And he's got two anyway, two pawns coming down that can challenge our pawn structure. Uh, but if that pawn pushes down, we can capture this pawn here. Shall we just leave the bishop there for now? Hmm. These these pawns are kind of I think they're kind of weak really. Now that I'm looking at that situation. Hmm. I mean we do have the option of just taking this pawn as rook takes, then we push onto the rook and gets that out of the way. Let's do that. And then just push onto the rook here. Where's the rook going now? So we've made use of the double pawn in front of the king quite nicely. He's obviously going to be looking to um, charge down with his rooks onto this pawn. So just make a bit of space for the king. So having the single pawn in the centre, I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm, I don't want to lose any sleep over that. Yeah, he's challenging these weakish type pawns because the reason why I say the weak is because if I just push up here, his rook comes here, challenges this. I suppose that his rook, his rook's attention is on this side, so he's not going to double the rooks up on that side. But then I'm going to have to be defending this pawn here, defending this pawn here with the rooks, which seems a bit of a shame, really. Um, okay, let's see. I mean, bishop, bishop can take, king takes, but I like that position there for now. Let's just hold that. Okay, so we know he can come and attack here. We know he can drop his pawn. If we pushed here, then he pushed down, we captured, his rook comes across. Oh, I'm just going to go for a simple move like this. Yeah, we know the rook can come across here. Our rook can come up and defend, or stay on the bottom actually, to defend, because he can come back again and do a double on this pawn. So he does capture. We could capture with the pawn, like we said, or we could capture with the rook. We'll capture with the rook. He's got these two pawns that can work down the centre. Hmm. Although they are facing two rhino heads, yeah, one, two, capture, capture, this one will get loose, that one will be loose. If we capture with the pawn, it blocks this centre pawn here, and it doesn't have anything that can actually attack it until such time as. So let's picture this, we capture with the pawn, blocking this pawn here, blocking his king's access. Maybe his king works its way around. No. Uh, if one of these pawns drops or the rook comes up here. I'm going to take with the pawn. I think I need to keep my big guns on the back. Looking to support the pawns on either side. Oh, he's, he's got it. Like a, oh, the king working around the side. He's going to drop this pawn. His king comes to the side. Then my rook has to go. He moved really fast then, didn't he? Rook takes, pawn takes. There. Yeah. He moved really fast like he had it all sewn up. Gonna bring my rook here. I'm just thinking if he just drop his pawn, we can take. Yeah, oh, he's coming down. He's coming for. He's trying to get his king down into this gap here, but that might have been like a... Uh, oh, let's go here. Oh, he's still got it. Damn, I fell for it. I moved too fast. He's still got it because his king can get to this square. Oh. Oh, drat and blast. Yeah, his king can get to that square. It's going to come behind. Man, oh, that's terrible. So we go here. His king drops down, and he can get those pawns, can't he? 
Oh, he's not. But he's made a little bit of a gap now for his rook. And these pass pawn. Oh, this is not healthy. So I'm going to go here. This pass pawn is causing us some issues now. Oh, that was a bit clever. We do have our little situation here, but it's coming for the pawn anyway. So if we go here, just protecting. Gives us an opportunity to maybe double. Yeah. No, that part, that pawn is going to be, it's going to cause us some issues in there. We can capture that pawn with a double. There's nothing else that can protect the pawn, so he may come back around to attack this pawn here. Yeah. So we're just going to have to go here. And if he repeats, then looks like we've got a draw out of that. He's not repeated, and he's going for something. He's going for gold. Okay, let's capture. He's going for our pawn. Let's capture. I can see why he didn't go for the draw because he does have these two pawns down the down the middle here that he can do something with. I'm not sure his king can go it well if we play this right we his king shouldn't be able to get anywhere and we should it should be a draw because he can't come down here for safety and he can't get past this rank so yeah it looks like it's a draw good effort though Woo! right yeah I'm quite pleased with that I'm gonna go to the analysis board I know we're in the arena but uh, that was quite tasty and do, 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 do. let's get that off there. Just want to see how, again, looking at the gauge bar, although a pinch of salt, but it is quite useful to see what they think are maybe potentially stronger or weaker moves. It does help improve my game if I like the move and if it would be something I can put into my game. Okay, so we're not looking too bad at the moment. Um, the castling was weak, so we attacked. Yeah, that queen move. Yeah, I'm, I think the queen should have been attacking the B pawn to give me something to think about, I think. And uh, doesn't like that move at all. Doesn't like it. Yeah. Oh, it's saying go and attack the pawn first, you know, on g5. Yeah, we, we did that a bit later on, didn't we? Yeah, so. Okay, yeah, we did it there. Right, okay, so the captured, captured. So we're, we're not looking, we haven't dipped under yet in terms of moves. So, oh, we have now with the bishop retreating. Okay, and the queen come in. Yeah, so we dipped under on this bit here. Bit of pressure with his pawn movements. He was blocking everything off. So we went for the attack on his knight. And then they attacked our queen. So we seem to have bounced back a little bit. But again, doesn't like the queen exchange at all. Because it could have gone either way. His bishop could have just gone to in front of the queen. Knight could have taken the knight. could have blocked with his pawn yeah okay so captured some things to think about there we attack the weak pawn but they're still in a good state capture yeah so it's uh, like I say I wasn't too bothered about this um, h-file attack because we've got the double pawn protection but it's showing black is in more favourable situation. I wasn't too panicked. I was a bit concerned, obviously, about these two these pawns in the centre that they've got. Um, so we blocked off, and they came down looking to attack. 
Uh, maybe we should have taken the bishop. Yeah, I think the computer is saying we should have just taken the bishop. Hmm. Okay. But we wanted to capture this pawn, put pressure onto the rook. Uh, we felt more comfortable doing that, as we explained. Came through with the king. And again, yeah, we had situation here with our A, B and C pawns now. I didn't want to push them too far up because they would have been um, easy pickings for the opponent. And it's showing black is in such a winning state here. And realistically, even I thought so myself, it was just a matter of time really, whether or not the opponent could play the right moves. As you can see, they're bringing the king right down now. So we push up just to block the king activity off. But I think maybe his rooks should have maybe got into the game. You know, that rook that's sitting there on the H, probably bringing that back, that would have put, given support to these these pawns that he's got on this other side, and especially these centre pawns. So he's pushing down, we push onto the king, had a bit of a heart attack there, thinking, oh, might be wrong. So we captured this side so we could potentially put a check on the king with the rook or something. But then they went back. Black is still winning. And I know this, I feel this, but I'm thinking, let's go for some proactive defense. And they attack our rook, bring the rook across. And at this point here, I'm feeling more comfortable the more moves the opponent's making now. So, yeah, at this moment, I, I believe it was a draw because there was nothing else that the opponent could do based on where they placed their pieces um, from their winning position. So at this point here, yes, it's definitely a draw. And as the computer's showing, it's a draw. Enjoyed that game.